Hey guys, welcome back to Brands With Purpose. We are back in 4K, no less. And today we are talking about on running. The reason we're talking about on running is because they are brand with purpose, which is what qualifies them for this channel. They are building an incredibly transparent. <laughs> they are building an incredibly transparent supply chain. They are using a lot of recycled materials already, including in this train I have in my hands here, and they have a really clear purpose around leveling up runners worldwide. So, just while I've got you here, I just want to say my name is Oliver Royce. I design and build products for a living, which is why we talk about them in detail on this channel. So the trainer in question is the on running Cloud Boom Echo. And I would say straight off the bat, the thing that is really noticeable about this trainer is just how lightweight it is. It's really hard to describe. The only thing making this trainer heavy is actually the insert that, that is keeping its shape and the packaging. So let's just get rid of that. These trainers come in at 220 grams. Like that is crazy lightweight. And I would say like, I think it's particularly challenging when you start building up running trainers with soles and heel support and including a carbon plate, which these have, is that you're just adding weight and adding bulk, right? So the fact that they've managed to keep these in at 220 grams is really impressive. Some of the other core facts that runners care about off the bat is that this has got a heel to toe drop of nine millimeters. You can see just how aggressive that peels away on the front and you can see that it's it's literally like the product has been designed with this like forward motion in mind, right? It's like, this is your front of foot strike, right? And you can see the angle at which that trainer comes off the track. So love that it's built with a real intent and purpose around like we're going this way and this is the heel to toe drop and then this is the shape of which the front of the trainer falls away. The other thing that you notice straight away is just how springy and responsive that carbon plate is. This is the only on running trainer that has a carbon plate and it's all built around the principles of energy return, right? So you're striking, you're getting that rebound and bounce through the carbon plate and it's propelling you forward. So there's a lot of talk about noticeable gains coming through having that in the trainer. And you can really feel it when you run in it as well, which is really exciting. They say that every element is engineered with performance and usually with performance it means bad for the environment because really performance stuff usually involves a lot of man-made chemicals or strain on resources, right? What's really excited about this is this mesh upper is 100% recycled, which is a lovely nod to the need to consider the environment when building products. Out of all the brands in the market, you can tell they've worked really hard on how they build mesh structures that perform and look really impressive as well, because at the end of the day, we want a cool running shoe, right? You can see that they've laminated the section around where the laces come through the trainer. That lamination is meant to give structure and support and make sure that the lace holes don't wear through. These are supposed to be best suited to 5Ks, 10Ks on marathon. These are the supercar lineup in On Running's offering and the, that is reflected in the price, that £210. It is all about paying for performance is something that's truest to helping you deliver your fastest time or your fastest time over a certain distance. They don't recommend that this becomes an everyday trial trainer shoe, for example, because they have other trainers better suited to that or that work better for that purpose. The other thing that's worth talking about, and I don't know if you can see it on the video, is the geometry of the, the sole and the rubber sole and the traction they have on the heel. They talk a lot about increasing the surface area and coverage in order to have loads of really good traction particularly as it starts to get a bit wetter or there's a bit of rain on the running track or on the paths, you know that you're still gonna have the traction you need to be able to run well into well into winter. On the sizing of trainers, what I just wanna to touch on is most of the data that comes back is that these are true to size. So you should be relatively confident buying your correct size from them. That comes with a personal caveat from me that I've had a few on running trainers now. When I tell you that my feet are like the flattest, widest feet you could find in all the land, like I barely have an arch. And because of my super wide and flat feet, I've brought on running trainers half a size up. So they have a really good size finder on the website and you can choose the brands that you normally shop your footwear in and they'll tell you what size you should buy in theirs based on data and other consumer profiles, which is fantastic. Um, and again, back to that bit of purpose, it's like they're actually looking out for that. Um, and looking out for the customer, which is amazing. So yeah, that's the Cloud Boom Echo at £210. It comes in two colors at the moment. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments.